get a drink service out. Just too short of a flight and too many bumps this evening. So come back and we'll make it up to you again. Welcome into Las Vegas. Good evening and welcome to Long Beach Airport. Tonight I'm flying to Las Vegas on Southwest Airlines 2509. Join me on tonight's flight experience. This is my first trip report in 2023, but not my first trip to Vegas this year. I wasn't planning on doing a trip report for this, but since some of you asked me to do one, I decided to do one just for this flight. Just don't expect anything new or out of the ordinary compared to what you've seen before. Check-in took just a couple of minutes, and with no bags to check, I'll head to gate 8 for boarding. Unfortunately, tonight, TSA pre-check is closed. They close it pretty early in the evenings here. I don't understand why they close it so early as there are still a lot of flights going out, like mine. What ends up happening is if you have TSA pre-check, they'll give you a card since you'll mix with their non-pre-check people. So you won't have to take your shoes off or laptops just like regular pre-check. It's annoying because you lose some of the convenience of having a separate line. I'll have to time this compared to when the pre-check is available another time. With TSA out of the way, it's a beautiful evening and as you've seen before, the outdoor area between the two concourses is one of the best features here at Long Beach Airport. Definitely you can chill before your flight. And as you can see, it's pretty much all Southwest Airlines here at Long Beach Airport. Hence why I call this airport Midway Airport West. Now I love flying out of Long Beach compared to LAX or Orange County, as this airport is about 15 minutes from my house, and as you've seen many times, the lines and crowds are not as significant as the other places. Southwest, Delta, and Hawaiian are our main carriers here, and they go to many places. But I still believe there are big holes in terms of destinations, like Seattle, San Francisco, Boston, and New York. Unfortunately, I have no confidence that any of these carriers or other new carriers will ever serve those cities from Long Beach again. Our plane just arrived from Austin and we will be boarding very soon after. I usually take the last flight to Vegas for the day if I fly out on Friday nights like tonight and the planes are usually full 100%, but tonight only 120 of 143 seats are filled. There's our plane serving as Southwest Airlines 2509. It's a 17-year-old Boeing 737-700, painted in the hard livery. It started flying with Aero Mexico in 2005 and also flew for THY Turkish Airlines before Southwest took delivery of the plane on July 10, 2016. A1 through 30 on the left-hand side, A31 through 60 on the right-hand side. If you're holding a B boarding pass or a C boarding pass, please remain seated. If you are a pre-boarder heading to Las Vegas, please be advised you cannot sit in the emergency exit. As well as being 15 years and younger, you cannot sit in the emergency exit. Ladies and gentlemen, you are only allowed one carry-on and one personal item. If you have more than two bags, folks, consolidate. If you cannot consolidate, we will tag that third, fourth bag to your final destination. Come right on up now, folks, if you need to get that third or fourth bank tag. The boarding procedure will go as follows. I'll start off with pre-boarders. After I do pre-boarders, we'll do business select A1 to 15. We'll go all the way up to 60. Then we'll do our A-listers. Those with XT, we'll do family boarding, which is two parents and the kids, no grandparents, no aunts, no uncles. We'll do the B group and then the C group. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to gate number eight. Follow the uh, green circles on the ground to gate number eight. Get boarding in just one moment. It's a bit of a walk outside, but we are boarding our plane. So another interesting feature here at Long Beach and its experience is that we get to board outside. There are no jet bridges here. This is usually not a problem since the weather is usually nice. Another neat feature. 
feature of having no jet bridges is we get to board at the back of the plane if we want. I always take this option when it's available. As you see a line at the front, just head under the wing and board at the stairs at the back. Warning, the stairs are a little steep, so only do this if you are physically able to do so. Usually there are less people who do this, but sometimes we can end up choosing a seat closer to the front than if we had boarded at the front straight away. Welcome on board Southwest 2509 to Las Vegas. We were greeted by a flight attendant, which is always nice. Tonight I'll be seated in 17A, a window seat. As you can see, I could have sat closer to the front if I wanted, or even taken an emergency row seat. But tonight I'll stick with 17A. This is the older style of cabin, so the bins are a bit smaller. The seats are arranged in the 3-3 configuration, with a single aisle in the middle. And for whatever reason, I didn't notice this, but the rows are not perfectly lined up. These blue leather seats have a seat width of 31 inches and 17 inches of pitch. There are no adjustable headrests. These seats are well padded compared to the newer planes, but as you can see, they do look a bit worn. I'm only 5 feet 7 inches, and I don't have long legs, so my knees there don't come close to touching the seat in front of me. There are no in-flight entertainment screens, as you'll use your phone, tablet, or iPad to stream live TV or other entertainment. No power outlets or USB ports to charge your device, so just remember to have your device fully charged or have backup power. Not a big deal for our 40 minute flight. And there's my view for the next 45 minutes. And off in the distance, that blue and red sign pays homage to Long Beach's aviation history. That's the Fly DC Jet sign. Though our flight is beyond 176 miles, we won't be getting any snacks or beverages due to possible turbulence. This has been the case for all of my flights to Vegas since December. Now six flights. And before I forget, we do have personal air vents. And by the way, these are not LED lights. Welcome aboard Southwest Airlines, flight number 2509, service to Las Vegas, and then continuing on to Austin. Flight attendant serving you this evening are Rebecca and Bat, Casey at Mid Cabin, and my name is Jennifer. This is a short 37 minute flight. As long as the weather cooperates, we're going to do our best to get out a uh, service to you. We'll be serving complimentary soft drinks, juice, and coffee. Premium selections, including alcohol, are also available for purchase with a credit card or a valid drink coupon. There's a beverage menu in your seat back pocket in front of you. It's now time to turn off and stow all large electronic devices. If anything with the on and off switch needs to be completely powered down, powered off at this time. Smaller electronic devices need to be in airplane mode or game mode only. The overwing window row is emergency exit row. If you are seated in this row, please read the safety information card in your seat back pocket in front of you. If you do not meet exit row criteria or do not wish to perform these functions, please let a flight attendant know at this time so we can push back. Flight attendants on doors for departure and cross check. Doors on, push back, cross check, please. With 120 of 143 seats filled, the boarding went very smooth and very Please quick. Remove any face coverings before We're off to Vegas. We are here for your comfort and safety. Thank you for your attention. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this very short 55-minute flight that is will that is gate to gate. Wheels up to wheels down will be a short 37 minutes. We will be dimming the overhead cabin lights. We'll get it nice and dark in here. If you do need any additional reading light, go ahead and press the button of a light bulb above your head at this time. So usually these flights to Vegas are very lively. There's a lot of energy and excitement from the crew to the passengers. Remember this is the flight where the crew told us we were going to Nashville one night and there was quite a bit of laughter. And a few months later we found out Southwest was starting service to Nashville. Anyway, all that to say tonight, that energy and excitement did not seem to be there, which is odd and I can say this since I've flown out to Vegas so many times on this Friday night flight. Anyway, enjoy our takeoff. We're off to Vegas.
place that we can stream some live TV and some TV shows and movies for free. Here I am just in time to see the second ever 16 seed be the one seed in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. FDU beats Purdue. So you can either use the Southwest app or your web browser on your device. There's the menu to see what's available to you. And as you know, I love using the flight tracker and seeing the moving map, seeing where we are in our flight. We just started our trip into Vegas, so we have a little ways to go. About 196 miles, kind of 7,000 feet above the air, going about 491 miles an hour. that announcement, let's wrap up this trip report and flight experience. First, it's too bad TSA PreCheck is closed at Long Beach early in the evening, even though there are still several flights going out. I had to remind the person checking my ID that I am PreCheck and I needed that TSA PreCheck card. Second, the boarding was very quick and we pushed back generally on time. Third, I know each flight experience is different for a variety of reasons, but this is probably the quiet and least energized and excited Friday night flight that I've taken out to Vegas. And fourth, this is the first time that I can remember, or at least on my trip reports I've done to Vegas, or anywhere that I've flown with Southwest, where we didn't hear from the captain or first officer. Anyway, all that to say, it was a very different experience this time from what I'm used to experiencing on Southwest, and maybe you noticed that too. I hope that next time that excitement and energy will be there because I love going to Vegas. All that to say, welcome to Las Vegas, my second home. Southwest Airlines want to be the first to welcome you into Las Vegas. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened, your seat back entry tables in their full and upright up position, and your carrying items right where they are until we arrive at the gate, come to a complete stop, and the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt signs. Please use caution when opening overhead vents as items tend to shift during flight. If by chance you have a connecting flight here, please see plane and check the TV monitors in the terminal for your flight and gate number. If you are continuing on with us to Austin, this is your aircraft. Please remain in your original seats. Rebecca will be coming from the back of the cabin to count you as a through passenger. We'll verify that count with our ground personnel, and at that time, we'll make an announcement. You can stand up, stretch your seat, stretch your legs, change your seats. This is an important count as we are expecting a completely full flight, so if you are continuing on with us to Austin, please remain seated. If you weren't able to get a drink service out, just too short of a flight, too many bumps this evening, so come back and we'll make it up to you again. Welcome into Las Vegas. Flight attendants, it's our doors for arrival and cross -up. 